Hello and welcome to Maker.io. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the GPIO in C++ on the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to build the circuit shown on the Schemix schematic. And then you'll need to enter the following code into an empty text file and then save it as a .c file, such as main.c. This is the program that's going to actually interface with the GPIO and work the LED and the switch as seen in the article. But there are a few things I would like to discuss about the Wiring Pi library. Now, interfacing GPIO in C++ on the Raspberry Pi is not very straightforward if you're trying to do it without any libraries. If, however, you use the Wiring Pi library, life is made incredibly easy. Firstly, the Wiring Pi library comes by default with the Raspbian OS. So if you're using Raspbian, happy days. However, when using the Wiring Pi library, you need to make sure you link to that library. So to see how to do this, read the article associated with this video. So one of the things I really like about the Wiring Pi library is that it's used in the same way as the Arduino library. So for example, if you wanted to write to a GPIO pin, you would use the digital write function. And if you wanted to read from a GPIO pin, again, you would use the digital read function. However, you must watch out for the numbering scheme as there are multiple numbering schemes for the Raspberry Pi. So the article uses the GPIO numbering scheme. So to learn more about that, again, read the article associated with this video. So thank you for watching and see you next time.